you're literally on the edge of your seat at this point. <laughs> so you can see over the barrel. <laughs> right, this is Rackish Bingham after Ebsleet versus Lake Norian. But the fans didn't want to go home tonight. They were so impressed. They were proud of you boys. Yeah, I mean, credit to them coming out today. I, I think I heard them more than I heard the Orient fans. Um, yeah, incredible support and you feel it on the pitch as well. So I think the lads, the effort we put in today and with the fans as well, good day out for them. It would have been better if we got a, a better result, even a draw to take them back. But I think we should be proud of ourselves. Do you know what I mean? That's a league, that's a league side and we've gone toe to toe today. If and not, and it's, a, better. it's a league side. They're going well in their league as well. They're in the, the, the playoff places. You know, they're two divisions above you, but you, you, you didn't look overall, did you? you? You went toe to toe. Honestly, I can speak for everyone else out there. I don't think we was phased on the pitch. I think we was confident. We played, we got the ball down, played our game. I mean, that's how we play 95% of all our games in the league anyway. So credit to us, we've gone out there and we stuck to our guns and fortunately we came up short. You, you said you came up short, did, did you personally feel there weren't enough chances created or, or I mean they're, they're, neither goalkeeper had a lot of shots to say. Yeah I mean for all our good play I think maybe in the final third we could have been a little bit more cuter. Um, some decisions even first first five minutes of the game, chance when we broke 3v1, tried to play Dom, Dom tried to play Marks. Could have been a little bit more tidy. Um, I know it was early on in the game, but I think moments like that, especially against league clubs like this, when they get moments like that, they take their chance. So it's just a lesson for us at the end of the day, but honestly, I'm proud of us as a team. Is that the difference playing a club of this standard that you can't make a mistake, you can't miss a chance, that they will punish you? Yeah, I mean, these teams are in the league for a reason, do you know what I mean? And you make mistakes, they will punish you. And um, they had their one chance today in behind that could argue maybe offside, maybe not, but Lionel's not give it and they've taken it and literally they've taken it and they've hung on to that lead for the rest of the game and I, I mean from then we came on leaps and bounds, I thought we played some decent football, like you said could have been a bit cute in the final third to create some cut open chances for ourselves but nevertheless um, we dug deep, we tried, gave it our all, even at the end the goalkeeper's gone up there to try and nick us a a point or draw. That would have been embarrassing back. if Josh Gould had got a goal and you hadn't, wouldn't it? <laughs> Listen, it don't matter who would have scored today, I wouldn't have minded as long as we won or obviously, worst case, get a draw. I think the Fleet fans felt right up until the final whistle. The Fleet are not out of this. You know, <laughs> there they could, could at least be a replay. Yeah, honestly, when I came off and I was on the bench, I thought we were still in it. <laughs> up until the last kick of the game, I thought, listen, there's a chance here, there's a chance with Westy's free kick at the end as well, but. Um, yeah, today we came up short, but I think we can be proud of ourselves. And now it's just to focus on the league. Go in the league, keep our form on in the league and, and take it game by game. What, what do you make of the league as it stands at the moment? The, the, the manager, Dennis Kutri, has just told us about the number of games that have got to be played You know, in the run-up to Christmas. Big games yeah. over Christmas against Dartford, for instance. I mean, how do you see it as a player in the middle of it all? I mean, cliche as it sounds, we take it game by game. I know every player says that, but it's the truth. You take it game by game, you don't get carried away. Um, we're in decent form at the minute, but it's still very early. We're nowhere near, we're not even halfway through the season. So we need to just keep building, take the momentum into each game and yeah, and see where we can end up. So a result like this, does the result leave you feeling a little bit down taking it into the next league game or do you feel a little bit up because you played so well? I wouldn't, I think, I think I'd be lying if I'd say we wasn't a little bit down to the point where we feel like we could have got something from today. But we can't, we can't be too down on ourselves, you know what I mean? Like I said, this is a league club. I think we've represented ourselves as a, as a team, players, as staff, fans coming here today, rocking up. I think we represent, represented ourselves properly. And yeah, it's just for us now to go again in the league. And, and that's the main focus. Now. Well, I think the fans all applauded you at the end. They didn't want to leave. They, they wanted to share their happiness with you and they look forward to you banging in the goals in the league. So there's a lot, still a lot to play for. There's still a lot to play for, still a lot to look forward to, and honestly, I'm, I'm proud of everyone, including the fans as well. Well, well done today, and good luck next week at Hungerford. Thank you. Thanks, man. Cheers. Appreciate that, man. Thanks, Appreciate you. Yes, Ed.